eventually we'll win, or we always do win in this country. It, sometimes it takes time, but this time we will certainly win. With his special brand of optimism, just walking up and down his garden, Captain Tom Moore lifted the spirits of the nation when it needed it most. This afternoon, his family announced the end of an incredible life, saying the last year of our father's life was nothing short of remarkable. He was rejuvenated and experienced things he'd only ever dreamt of. At the start, the army veteran had hoped to raise a few pounds for the NHS. The public response staggered him. It was only a little family joke, and look how it's, it's gone global now. I mean, it's unbelievable that people are so kind throughout the world as to contribute. He's done it. You're never more oh. alone from Captain Tom Moore. Michael. There was even a number one record in collaboration with Michael Ball and the NHS Voices of Care Choir. Many happy returns. Thank you very much. By the time he celebrated his 100th birthday with a card from the Queen, a record £33 million had been raised and 140,000 other birthday cards were testimony to this old soldier's place in the hearts of the British people. In the skies above his Bedfordshire home, a World War II flypass marked that special day, while Captain Tom and his family set up a foundation of charitable causes that would be his legacy. His efforts also inspired others. Five-year-old Tony Hudgel raised a million pounds walking on new prosthetic legs. Former Scotland rugby captain Mike Bigger, who'd been paralysed in a car accident, found new strength to undertake a sponsored challenge of his own after seeing Captain Tom. I want to thank him for, for the, the splendid example he gave us. Also, for the, um, you thank him for, for making me... Um, guiding me to, to, to recognise what I could do and to get on and achieve it. As a young man, Tom Moore had already served his country in Burma and India during the Second World War. Tough times, he recalled. It was hot. It was sweaty. It was unpleasant. His military career ended with the rank of captain, but last summer, his fundraising was recognised with a knighthood. Captain Sir Tom Moore he became, with the Queen saying the amount he'd raised was amazing. What an amazing number, amount of money. Today, she offered her condolences to his family. There is a sad irony that a man who did so much for the country through the pandemic should himself fall victim to it. He will be remembered with affection by those he supported and inspired. In a dark time, Captain Tom was truly a shining light.